Hello all, in this video let's see something about HTTP run in Microsoft Flow. So this HTTP requests are generally used by the application developers. Okay. So to create one, let's create click create and here click automated cloud flow and skip it and here type HTTP so that you can see the triggers this HTTP triggers are premium and let's see here something about here uh, this when a HTTP request is received okay it's like a REST API calls in our jQuery uh, while we are using uh, the coding in the SharePoint this is an inc incoming API call that could be used actions in a logic app so this incoming call we will uh, do this incoming call from the postman app okay postman can be used in any browser or also you can download that postman app okay now for every flow we need to have one trigger and one action so for here we will take this trigger as http and here it is clearly mentioning like the, U the url for this will be generated after save okay so here it is also mentioning like use sample payload to generate schema okay let's create one sample payload let's take simple manager name here krishna comma and here designation designation or something like uh, designation or skills skills let's mention skills because already his designation is mentioned as manager skills pmp okay pmp comma scrum master uh, this pmp is enough okay now click done and it will generate the schema now so the our schema is uh, generated here and it is also mentioned here once once when we generated this it's also mentioned that content uh, we need to add as uh, application or json okay so now let's create one action now if we do not create any action and if we click save it will tell like here should at least contain one trigger and one action okay so next click this step and create one email action send an email sorry send an email let's create send an email send email here in the two let's give an email here and uh, subject uh, HTTP request okay so here uh, manager and uh, we can get the value dynamic value from here manager value manager name here like skill so give this dynamic value here skill and click save okay and check it's saving and it's also your flow is ready to go we recommend to test it okay let's click test here manually or automatically let's see what's happened there are no runs in the flow automatically the manually let's test here and uh, to see it work now perform the starting action so let's see what's happening here to see it work now perform the starting action it means like uh, uh, maybe we need to uh, post a request from the postman okay let's wait whether it will do by itself or we need to do that so it's still it's running so we need to create a request in the postman so postman can be used from the browser okay if you have any 
postman or if you postman app I can have from here or I can use from here let's create click postman here and uh, let's go to the postman site once and postman here the collaboration it's telling like and let's see I'm, I'm using apple so I need to get this postman for apple so postman apple mac okay so here it is download postman the postman app we can download or postman on the web so we can also the try web version here I click try he, the web version here and you can give here uh, email so I am configuring my gmail here to sign in into this postman app and once I signed in so it's uh, asking like to create the workspace everything uh, let's see what this all web space workspaces sir and meanwhile let's check it's still running because we have not uh, given any incoming space incoming request okay so this is my workspace and uh, let's create and uh, this is my history let's cre uh, create a request here okay click create an api create a request we need to create a request so we need to get we need to post it so it is asking us to enter url we actually need to copy that url from our flow so click edit once here in our flow and uh, copy the url here and it's mentioning here remember to include a content type header set to okay we need to first uh, copy this content type header because we need to set it okay copy and paste it somewhere uh, somewhere here so that we can later copy it again so now copy the url and in the post untitled request right uh, we can name it or whatever click post here and enter the url here once we entered the url here the parameters came right in this parameters we need to add that content type we actually got that content type right here or automate clearly said like to assign to set to application or json okay copy and now go here in the key add content type in the value let's add this application json okay application json and as a value and now it's the keys we have added now let's go to the body here and add the request does not have a body so we need to add some uh, data here so our data is like a raw data okay here just copy our uh, json what we have created here first let's go and see here how this uh, it is here it's like a manager name and skills right let's give manager name here as Bharat comma skills skills I can give here like SharePoint okay and it must be in the it is having many types here so select our JSON here okay so once it is done it is showing something here json okay nothing manager name barat it's peak product quick fixes available expected comma okay everything is there here let's see whether we need to give flower brackets here 
then our problem will be solved yeah now it's good to go and here let's trigger it manually do test it and to see it work now perform the starting action so we need to do the incoming api request go here and click send here and sending the request yeah it's good it's one and let's see this our power automate has ran successfully here we can see the manager name output and the all this data and let's check the email what we have received manager skill we have not received maybe uh, because of sharepoint okay we don't i don't know why this uh, skill has been not came uh, okay let's okay we will check that later but let's check whether we got email or not first so we got email but only thing is like skill is uh, missing learn let's click edit and check why it is missing here uh, here the skills here we have given skills s k i l s okay because of that particular spelling problem that's why it's not came and go to the uh, here our body and let's remove the cell okay control z uh, now if we if we do one test click test and let's wait it's asking to perform the starting action now we have given uh, we have uh, modified the skill spelling here and click send and it's one here and let's see our, our flow ran successfully and now go to the email and check we will get an email with skill also okay this is how we can create a HTTP request okay in the power automate thanks for watching if you have any doubts comment in the YouTube video section or you can email us anytime